Arrays can contain any kind of element, including other arrays. And then what, what if these other arrays also contained other arrays and other arrays? That can go on forever. And sometimes you need to access values that are inside of an array, which is inside of another array. I've seen people over the years have problems with this, but the way to solve it is very, very simple. So in this video, I want to show you how simple it can be, how simple it is, so that you get it right from the first time. I'm going to start by creating an array. Let's call it A. And this array will have some elements, some numbers. And one of these elements is going to be another array. Now, what if this other array has other elements? It'll have some letters, some numbers, and all of a sudden, another array. And this other array has these numbers. So that at first sight can be a bit scary, let's, but let's see how easy it is. So let's say that what we want to do, what you want to, that what I want you to be able to do after this video is to be able to access any element here and know how to access it. For example, if I was to tell you change this number five by number 10, that's the kind of things that I would like you to be able to do after this video. Let's take a look at this array on our browser's console. See how it shows you um, the, well, I need to reload this because we have some previous data in there. Okay, cool. See how it shows you the array and it shows you that the number in position two, remember position zero, position one, position two, the element in position two is also an array. Let's expand it. And then it shows us what's inside of that array, the letter A, number 12, and another array. Let's go to that other array. And then that other array is just four, five, and six, this one here. So what I'm going to do now is change number five to a number 10 and I'll do it in the console so that we can get direct feedback of what we're doing. I'm going to type in first, I want to access, if I want to access what's inside of this array, I firstly need to access this array, right? We need to go all the way down. The approach is always to start from top to bottom. Top in this case will be this one. So we know that this one is in position two. So we'll type in two. All right, we made it in. Now we want to find this one here. And this one here is in also in position two, as we can see from here. So then we do another. So this is why I wanted to show you this on the console, because if I press enter, we already got that, that, that array. And now I want to enter inside of that array. And now I want to access the element in position one. So then I'll type in two, which was the first drill down, and the second one, and then position one. That will give us five. And then if I want to change the number five to 10, I'll just assign it with the equal sign. So that's the way to do it. First step on the top level. The top level is 0, 1, 2. This is all position, this, that, that's position 2. So then we type in 2. Then we go in, we zoom in. Now we're here. And in here, this would be position 1, this would be in position, sorry, position 0, position 1, position 2. So 2 again. And now we're here. And we want the one that's in position 1. Position 1 equal 10. So log A, refresh the page, and you can see now that the value in the middle is 10. So to summarize, when you are working with arrays that have other arrays, you have to work it from top to bottom. You firstly identify the position of the array Treat it as if it was a number, you know, this could be a number and it would be in position two. And then once you find it, you zoom in and do the same thing over and over until you find the element that you want to modify or access.